Hey, what's up, uh, YouTube? Uh, Six Shooter bringing you some uh, ammo I picked up at Walmart and uh, went down the range and shot about yeah, about 400 rounds and wanted to let you guys know what, uh, what I think about it so far. So over here is this um, ZQ 9mm and from what I've read this is a Turkish ammo and uh, yeah made in Turkey and then uh, uh, tool ammo this is called the brass max so, uh, both of them are I believe in a 115 and uh, long story short I'm really impressed um, I shot them in um, a couple of my concealed carries and nice and shiny nice and clean this is the brass max let me throw a couple in there and get a good good look at that it uh, it shoots good it's not very dirty at all I get the zoom to work in for me uh, let me try this real quick there you go uh, really clean you know even better than the, the federal and uh, Remington and you know PMC and some of the other stuff I've been shooting um, over here is this uh, ZQ ammo pick up a couple of those take a look at that uh, like I said nice and shiny really clean that's the one thing I noticed right as I pulled them out of the box is just how clean the ammunition was um, so I was down there at, at Walmart this is selling for about $21 for a box of 50 here in Texas this is January 2014 this uh, the brass max was selling for $13.97 for a box of 50 and uh, so I picked up obviously a lot of this because it's a lot cheaper for the range uh, one thing I noticed that if you go there they have a you know kind of like the classic go down to your army surplus you know the 50 50 caliber you know sealed uh, uh, ammo uh, mags you know you can carry carry your ammo in well they they sold they have a box there that has 1200 rounds for 497 dollars and that's here in Texas and I said you know what the hell with it I'll, I'll grab it it said made in Turkey that's all it said it doesn't say anything else on there and so I opened it up and what it comes in is they're sealed with a big like almost a military handle you can carry these things and you cut this open and what's inside of here inside of this 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 bag is four of these boxes and I uh, so anyway I pulled it out I said well let's let's give them a shot let's let's see how these things do like I said they both they all shot clean had no bad primers nothing no problem at all uh, one thing to point out though that I did notice was the Turkish ammo is a lot hotter it uh, it has a lot more oomph to it than the brass max the brass max is not to say that it's 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 wimpy but it feels like PMC it feels like blazer brass it feels like uh, you know your standard things that you get at the range or you normally would shoot like the Remington this uh, like I said it had a, a little bit more recoil on on all my nine millimeters at first I, I thought you know okay wait a second this maybe it's just me but I shot it on on four different nine millimeters that I had and uh, sure enough every one of them felt the difference I would load one magazine with this one magazine with that shoot this mag shoot that mag and boom yeah it uh, it's a hotter round I mean they're they're both they're all uh you know it's all ball ammo or anything like that but but if I do my math correctly uh, I mean this is pretty pricey at 21 bucks and you would think to yourself well I'll just you know I'll just get a name brand uh, um, you know brand of ammo but if you get this in that crate and out of maybe four Walmarts that are that are in Austin uh, two of them had the had the big metal uh, ammo case with this in it and like I said so if I do my math that's 497 divided by 1200 and that turns out to be 41.4 cents uh, around for this which which compares pretty good with what you can get you know online with a lot of the big ammo places 
this is uh, 1397 for 50 so just say fourteen dollars you know divided by fifty and this turns out to be twenty eight cents around so this is really economical and this is a really cool you know spicy hot round so anyway just want to give you my my quick take on it uh, I'm impressed you know the, and after shooting it I broke down the guns and you know normal powder you know nothing too dirty like like to me Winchester white box always shoots it leaves a lot of residue everywhere and these were pretty normal compared to what I'm I'm, I'm used to shooting so anyway that's for two cents uh, be safe have fun shooting